These puppies have been bred to be experimented on. A PETA investigation found almost 5,000 beagles confined to barren kennels and cages 24 hours a day, seven days a week at this massive breeding mill in Virginia. For more than 50 years, various companies have bred dogs at this dog factory farm to sell to laboratories, which kill them in experiments. Here, a supervisor with no veterinary training inserts a needle into a puppy's head without anesthetics in a crude attempt to drain fluid from a wound. Workers with no veterinary training put some puppies down by trying to inject euthanasia solution into their hearts, causing excruciating pain. <laughs> Nursing mothers and their puppies were left to cower and tried to escape while the supervisor and others blasted the kennels with a high-pressure hose. The animals ended up soaking wet and were left that way. The dogs had no beds, no toys, no stimulation, no real lives. They're just being warehoused. Deprived of any opportunity to run, play, and simply act like dogs, these beagles just pace back and forth and jump up and down. The qualities that make these small, gentle, eager-to-please beagles great companions also make them animal experimenters' preferred victims. The deafeningly loud, crowded, and stressful conditions cause the dogs to fight. Female dogs are bred twice each year for up to seven years. Many gave birth to puppies on the hard floor until workers saw them in labor and put a plastic tray on the bottom of the cage. Over the course of the investigation, PETA's eyewitness found more than 350 puppies dead among their live littermates and mothers. Some puppies fell through holes in the cages and ended up in the drains, soaking wet and covered with feces, bedding, and waste. After a few weeks, these loving, devoted mothers were taken away from their puppies so that the puppies could be sold to experimenters. For their final two days with their puppies, workers intentionally deprived nursing mothers of food. According to a supervisor, inspectors with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, told management to feed the dogs through their last day, but the supervisor refused and continued to deny the nursing dogs food. This week they did not get fed, but if too many people know it, it's going to get out. That's what we're doing, yeah. then it's going to get bad. Yes. I never fed them yesterday. And as USDA officials raised other concerns, the supervisor had this to say. It's a damn game you got to play to, to satisfy because of the bullshit that they can make happen. These dogs should live as all dogs deserve to, in loving homes. But thousands of them remain imprisoned in this breeding mill, suffering destined to be sold for painful, pointless experiments around the world. Please visit PETA.org today to learn how you can help them. Thank you.